Well, Ben has been in the studio before, and it's a heartbreaking. It's so ghastly. I hate having to get you to to relive aspects of this. And your, your lovely wife, Desreen, we're going back five years, and your little lad. Uh, just briefly recap what happened. Uh, we were uh, at our friend's house in North London. Uh, we were leaving for the evening, and I took my son's pushchair. Uh, Desiree was stood a couple of steps behind us, walking towards the train station, and a car came speeding around the corner. Found out later in court it was going at 57 miles an hour in a 20 zone. Mounted the pavement, um, took the wheel off my son's pushchair, nearly got us all, but then struck and killed my wife. She, she died at the scene. It was an 82-year-old um, an driver. He'd mistaken the accelerator for the brake in an automatic car. Um, so, you know, awful. He actually... Um, maimed another girl as well in trying to stop the car by aiming it at all. He, he did get a jail sentence. He did get a jail he? sentence, yeah. How old was this man? He was 82. 82, OK. Yeah. You've been campaigning since then, Ben, haven't you, Half, to yeah. say that you believe people should be tested. Mm. So what age do you think we should have to... Because at the moment it's self-regulating, yeah, isn't it? You, right. you have to fill out your own form to say whether you yeah. think Yeah, well, you're hardly you're going to say, to no, I don't think I'm suitable yeah. anymore. Be well, no, let me just tell you something about that. I brought this with me because I didn't want to forget. Um, when police uh, have noted, um, uh, give new driving assessments as an alternative to a prosecution, they actually find that 70% of the people over 70 need, um, need um, eyesight correction. So people are lying. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. it, the stats are there. Yeah. Well, if people are lying, why don't the statutory authorities do something about this? This is where I criticise politicians consistently and continually. Real life events, things that affect us all, things which are just right. There's no really right or wrong in this. This is just wrong. Mm. What is the resistance to extra testing? Well, you know, I've been campaigning for this for 15 months and I had 200,000 signatures um, trying to get people to be retested in an age-appropriate way every three years, which follows the law at the moment where you have to um, self-assess after and reapply every three years. Um, it took me 15 months to get a reply from an MP. Um, it is moving now. There is something... It is going to be raised a committee, a cross-party committee for safety of transport, but it's, there's so much resistance there. And all I actually see is that the issue is very pro. What's being pushed is... Um, uh, uh, you know, trying to keep older drivers on the road for longer. There's no one. Well, I was going to say that. You know, side. what do you say to people that say, "Well, this is like tarring everyone with the same brush." You know, I'm 75. My I'm, I'm fit. My eyesight's perfect. I've got 20/20 vision, which many elderly. Yeah, but if you pass your do. test, it's not tarring everyone with the same yeah, brush. So, what do you say to those people that worry that it's going to be taking their independence mm. away or? Well, Lewis a... Fisher says, I think elderly people are the most dangerous drivers. They say they like their independence, which mm -hmm. Ruth was saying there, but that's what they get free bus passes for. It was so, not quite the same. So what will happen at the moment is, um, I know that viewers will uh, write to me later, I'm absolutely positive, and say that actually it's not this group that's unsafe, it's the it's younger drivers that are. Lots of it is, is done in that area. What worries me is, I know that there's data out there that says that people over 80 are actually more dangerous. It's in a report that's been done about, uh, there's a task force been pulled together to try to keep drivers on the road for longer, that's its only ambition. But there is very, uh, it's skimmed data within this that says there is there are people more at risk, but there's nothing being done about it. Is there any political will to do this, to change this, do you feel? I, I, I don't know. I, as I say, I'm, I'm a very small voice in a very new crowd, and so I'm just finding I out. I can answer that. I mean, because Harriet Harman has been in touch with me. She's my local MP, and that's the only way to make any change. You know, I, I'm campaigning the Secretary of State for Transport, but it's only through your local MP that you can make stuff happen. And she has actually said that she agrees with me, and she is pushing this in Parliament. So, you know, fingers crossed, it's going to take a long time, and but just, it does need to be changed.